You wouldn't believe how much honey was out there. Oh, yeah? What's going on around here? Where is everybody? Are they out celebrating? No, they're just home. They don't know what to do. They're laying out. They're sleeping in. I heard your Uncle Carl was on his way to San Antonio with a cricket. At least we got our honey back. Yeah, but sometimes I think, so what if the humans liked our honey? Who wouldn't? It's the greatest thing in the world. I was excited to be a part of making it. This was my new desk. This was my new job. I wanted to do it really well, and now, now I can't. I don't understand why they're not happy. We have so much now, I thought their lives would be better. Mm. They're doing nothing. It's amazing. Honey really changes people. You don't have any idea what's going on, do you? What did you want to show me? This. Oh. What happened here? That is not the half of it. Oh, no. Oh, my. They're all wilting. Doesn't look very good, does it? No. And whose fault do you think that is? Mm. You know, I'm gonna guess bees. Bees? Specifically me. I guess I didn't think that bees not needing to make honey would affect all these other things. It's not just flowers, fruits, vegetables. They all need bees. Well, that's our whole SAT test right there. So you take away the produce, that affects the entire animal kingdom, and then, of course... The human species? <clears throat> oh. So if there's no more pollination, it could all just go south here, couldn't it? And I know this is also partly my fault. <sighs> How about a suicide pact? How would we do it? I'll sting you, you step on me. That just kills you twice. Right, right. <sighs> Listen, Barry. Sorry, but I gotta get going. Had to open my mouth and talk.